Hi there guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice. Welcome back to the studio. In today's video, we are going to be doing another Thrifty Review where we will be taking a look at White Knight's 12 Full Pan Artist Watercolor Set. This is the very first time we will be looking at professional paints on the channel, so I am pretty excited about presenting these to you guys. Let's look at the package here. The package has a very beautiful loose watercolor painting on the front, White Knights, Artist Watercolors, 12 colors, and I will not do the name of the company any misjustice by trying to pronounce it. It is in Russian, but it does say St. Petersburg, and from the research I've done, these paints are commonly known in the States as St. Petersburg White Knights. Um, the company is in partnership with the International Watercolor Society. So that is a great thing. They are giving back. On the side of the box, it tells you that the company um, is a joint stock company, Artist Paint Plant, and it is in St. Petersburg, Russia. These paints are made in-house. They do not outsource to China like a lot of other paint companies do. Um, the other side of the box says the White Knights Extra Fine Artist Watercolor is manufactured with fine, dispersed, and light fast pigments. The paint structure also comprises gum Arabic. This results in a quality paint, giving artists full assurance when completing important artwork. The back of the box, a set of artist watercolors, White Knights, 12 colors in pans, there is a color swatch chart on the back showing the colors that are in the <clears throat> palette. It contains the colors names as well as their number for identifying each color, the pigment number, light fast information, and opacity information. On the very bottom here, there is a key chart showing you the symbols for the light fastness as well as the one showing you the symbols for the opaqueness ranging from transparent to opaque. So that's the box. Let's take a look at the palette itself. Here we have a very, very, very small and compact palette containing 12 full pans. Um, now, if you guys remember, I did a review on the Koi watercolor feel sketch box, and I told you how much I love the fact that that particular box was so compact. Well, here we have a company that has produced a even more compact box. Of course, that one had 24 half pans in it, and this only has 12 full pans. But again, I think a great size for traveling. The box itself is made of a very durable plastic. I like the design, the hinge design here. It does pop open on the front. And the very top of it contains a logo and then the printing of St. Petersburg. <clears throat> on the inside of the box here, I do they do provide you with a little um, piece of paper to swatch your colors out on. And then here we have the 12 full pans. Now, the really neat thing about this is that these pans pop out into this divided tray. Let me see if I can do this without dropping them. And I thought to myself, this would be wonderful even if you didn't like the paints, to you know, get you some half pans and put you some putty or maybe some um, double-sided tape on the bottom and you can line those half pans up in here and put, it, uh, put quite a few of them in here and turn this into a travel palette of your own design. Or you could actually use the paints up and then refill these particular full pans with the paints that you would like. And I just wanted to pop one of those out so that you could see them. These are some pretty big pans now. Uh, uh, an American full pan or one that you would find in the States is half the size. So this is like double the size of one of our regular standard full pans. So I thought you get a lot of paint. They're filled to capacity and the paints are actually semi moist. So that is a really great thing because it allows you to just literally dip your brush in water and tap against the paints and the pigment releases really easily and you can go to painting right away. So with all of that said, just for the box alone, minus the little information about the paints, um, I think it's a pretty good palette. We'll get into pricing later. Um, so you'll be able to make a decision again 
whether you think it's something that you guys will want. So let's talk about the paints. 12 colors here. Okay, so very, very bright. The brights are really bright. The other colors are really rich and saturated. I'm gonna show you guys a color swatch chart I did here. <clears throat> And then, of course, an opacity test of my own, although they do provide that information. As far as I could tell you, the colors are really from performance, not from what the package says. The colors are really transparent to semi-transparent. There's only two really opaque colors, which the package does say that, and that's the CAD yellow medium and the CAD red light. And I would think that that's probably because um, these are professional paints and they are not using a bunch of fillers to stretch the pigments. They're true. And those are true cad cadmium minerals in there. So it would, would be a bit more opaque than most paints. Um, there are four transparent colors and six semi-transparent colors. So the palette lends really well to layering. Um, I found that they actually lift it really well. It's, and the colors remain really bright there's not a huge color shift between them being wet to them drying down uh, i'll show you guys a couple of paintings that i've done now when i originally got the paints and this has been what back in maybe october of 2019 shortly after swatching them out i did this particular painting where i was trying to learn to draw a poppy and i decided to play around with the colors um and turn it into a painting now the colors are mainly light fast according to the information that's on the box and with this being a professional grade of paint you know they have a pretty good reputation behind them now this painting i did in october and, and of course it's marked and this painting has been sitting out exposed to you know different types of lights from studio lights to regular room lights as well as sunlight and in my opinion i do believe that there was a bit of fading now, I don't know if that's because of the care that I took of the paint, if the, uh, the painting, excuse me, if it's because of the paper that it was done on, but there was a bit of a color shift. Neither here nor there, I really enjoyed the way the paints moved on the paper, the way the pigments dispersed in a wet-on-wet -wet environment. That was all really, really nice. The colors mix cleanly when you're mixing them on a palette, and you can actually let a layer dry and over layer it with different shades of a color and still get um, a transparency to see the shading you have under what you're doing. So I really love the fact that the paints take to layering and blending well when you're mixing them um, while you're painting. Um, another one that I did more recently was done from a reference um, photo on a booklet from Karen Dosh watercolor pencils that I, I, I bought lately. And I just wanted to kind of try to use that as inspiration to do a painting. And I've decided to go ahead and frame this one because I wanted to see how it looked. And I think it came out really well. Again, the colors mix really cleanly. And I'm not doing mixing in the palette, not a lot of mixing in the palette. I'm actually letting the colors kind of blend and mix on the papers. They also kind of do really well in a ratio where you kind of reduce the water because you want to use the paints more thickly. I think that they lend to adding great little details to a painting to help it stand out or to help certain areas stand out. As you can see here from the foliage done on the tree as well as right in the front of the window. Um, and I actually enjoyed this one, but after doing this one, I decided that a lot of the paintings I do um, were, 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 excuse me, really small type of paintings. So I wanted to challenge myself to do a larger painting and I was going to use the White Knights. And this was the final field test that I did with the paints before I decided that, oh, you know, well, I'm going to do this review on them. Um, And I did this. I can't really get the whole... And it's framed as well, but that's pretty much the picture. And this is actually um, a picture of violets. And instead of coloring them violet, I decided to use a more fuchsia magenta color to do them. 
Um, and because I really want to push myself to do a larger painting and add details to a larger painting. Now here I mix the White Knight paints with um, Reeves gouache in some aspects. And they performed really well in a mixed media aspect. Now, you know, guys, I, you know, I do mixed media. I love it. Um, sticks and things of <laughs> all types of nature. That's just who I am. But um, they surprised me. I mean, you know, it, it really took me by surprise how well they performed. They uh, performed much better than a, a, a student grade paint does. And the colors hold their richness. And I do believe that this is going to be pretty well protected with it being behind glass. I decided not to mat it because of the type of frame that it's in. So, you know, those are some of the things that I've done with it. And those are how I use the paints in order to gain the experience. I thought I need to be able to, you know, kind of lend you guys my opinion on the paints. So let's get down to pricing. You cannot find these paints at most of your local big box art stores. I looked at Michael's, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. I even looked on Jerry's, Autorama, as well as Cheap Joe's, and I was not able to find these paints. The only place I was able to find them was at Amazon.com. They are currently priced for $23.54 for the 12 set full pan. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could go, probably go to their website, which is listed on the side of the box here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And more than likely, I'll probably put it in the video um, when I do the editing. And they also list the email. So maybe you could reach out to the company by um, website or maybe even by email if you wanted to obtain the paints and see you know, if you can do them that way, if for some reason you don't have access to Amazon. Um, and if you know of anywhere else that you could source the paints from, don't hesitate to um, put it in the comment section below the video so that anybody else watching could find the paints. But again, Amazon.com for $23.54. So when you think about $23.54, the box, the travel box that it comes in, the fact that these are full pans that are double the size of an average full pan that you would be used to. You have 12 bright and vibrant colors that really hold their saturation once they dry down. They mix cleanly. They layer well. They mix really well on the palette. They mix really well on the paper. Um, I think you get a great bang for your book. So, you know, not only for the palette, but also for the paints, I would recommend it, especially at the price of $23. I mean, 24 bucks, come on. And if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. Or, you know, depending on, if you're not a Prime member, I'm pretty sure depending on how much you order, you might even get free shipping. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I'm definitely sure you get free shipping if you're a Prime member. So, yeah, guys, I didn't want to make this video too long at all. Just wanted to give you straightforward details about the paints. Um, I'm really excited about these. I'm really excited about my continued use of these. Um, I'm definitely going to use them in my art journaling Sunday coming up this Sunday just to see how they perform on, on my um, in my uh, Jane Davenport Mixed Media Art Journal. So uh, that's going to be really exciting. I may tape that. I may not. I'm not sure, guys. But there you have it. Um, you can find them at Amazon.com if you want them. Beginners, this would be a great paint set for a beginner, and I I'll tell you why. One is going to lend to helping you learn to do some color mixing and get different variations of the shades that are already in here and some colors that aren't. Two, they're professional grade of paint, so they're going to perform a lot better than any of the student grades that we've reviewed on this channel. They provide the light fast um, the light fast information as well as the pigment information so that you can start learning um, the pigments and, and the source that the paints that you're painting with, where they come from. You're paying $23.54. I would definitely recommend this set over any other set that we have reviewed on this channel. And just for a quick comparison, before I, or as I'm wrapping this video up, let me slide this to the side and we're just going to take a look here. Student grade paints do not and will not hold up 
in my opinion. These paints are much more saturated and vibrant, even more so than my top two economical brands being Royal and Lang Nickel, which is number two. And then of course you guys know, I also love Reeves, which is my number one pick for economical paints so far on this channel. Now then when you compare them against the actual student grade paints that I love so much, Grumbacher being my number one choice, they still, Grumbacher doesn't hold a candle. The, these paints are still much more bright and vibrant. And in and, and all honesty, I think they're even more transparent, although some of them are more semi-transparent, if that makes any sense. Same thing with Aim High, Aim High Arts. Aim High paints, I love the way they perform. I love the fact that you get so many colors, but again, I don't think that they hold up as far as the vibrancy and the richness to White Knights. And lastly, we'll jump over here. Let me see. I skipped Cotman. Cotman was the one I wanted to get to. Um, I can't really turn that around the way I want to because of the way my tripod is positioned. But hopefully you guys can see that, again, White Knights is just, to me, a more saturated brand of paint. And for the price that you pay, considering what you would pay for Grumbacher, what you would pay for Cotman, what you even what you would pay for aim high because they're all in the same price range. uh aim high and um white knights are in the same price range excuse me i still think that white knights is probably the better buy simply because you are getting a professional grade paint all right guys if you found this information helpful or um useful please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up go ahead and hit that bell and subscribe so that you can keep up with all the latest content going on on the channel please utilize the comment section below. I would love to hear whether or not you have used these paints, what you think of them. Um, share some of the things that you have painted with them, please. Um, or let me know whether or not you're going to get them and how, what you're expecting of them. Don't forget to head on over to the Thrifty Apprentice page, uh, Facebook page and like us there so you can keep up what goes on both on and off camera. And please, share the video. Remember that sharing is caring. It helps to grow the channel as well as the community. And remember, as I tell you at the end of every single video, just keep painting, just keep painting, just keep painting.